Earlier we created our first VPC, launched our first EC2 instance and went through all the details that bring us to this point, running our first application online. Our application is a 2048 game. It's a simple choice. Doesn't require a database or sign up or anything. Once you learn basics, the rest is also easy. So let's go ahead and run our first game. So here I am in my EC2 dashboard and to access the EC2 instance we created, I go ahead and I click connect. It's fine to connect as EC2 user. And today, first thing we will do is we will basically install all the packages that we need. And we need three packages today, Node.js, Git, and also Nginx web server. So I go ahead and here I type sudo dnf, install, and first in Node.js, secondly Git, and then Nginx. And I also add hyphen Y to automatically say yes to everything, to any questions that is asked. It will take you several seconds and then as you can follow also on my screen, you will have everything that you need to, for today installed. And later on also we will get the repository of 2048 game from Git. But here we go, everything is complete. So right now you have Nginx actually installed in your EC2 instance. However, it's not active, it's not enabled yet. So we can also see this one. Let me first clear my screen. Uh, what you can do is you can use, you, you, you will use systemctl quite often. Uh, and first thing you can do is to check it with status nginx. And as you can see here, it's disabled, it's not running. So first thing we do is to start it but by systemctl and start nginx. So once you do that one, this is also something you need to do. You can check again the status and you see it's active and running. Uh, another detail just in case is to also enable Nginx. Uh, as you can see, it's disabled on the top. So that's another detail. And now you can see it's enabled and it's up and running. But when you visit your address, you can see the IP address down at this left side. Mine is 18, 193, 120, 180. Um, you may first you need to see this welcome to Nginx page as of now, right? Um, but sometimes you may have issues if it's HTTPS, make sure that it's HTTP, right? And once you do that, you should see welcome to Nginx page, but this is useless to us. So what we need to do is to find this Nginx file, this what is served here, get rid of it and install our 2048 game. And this is what we will do right now. So depending on different web servers and stuff, this might change, but as of now, the folder that has this Nginx file is USR share Nginx HTML. So what we do now is we will go to this folder USR share Nginx HTML. And basically here you can see this index file and so on and so forth, but let's get rid of them so we can have a clean start. And in order to get rid of them, the code that you need is sudo rmrf and then star sign. It's basically forced to delete everything and star sign is everything that is in this folder. So this is what we did. If you do ls, you will see now it's completely empty. And if by any chance you refresh your page, you will see that it's 403. So you also don't have any access to, to it. And as the next step right now, it's empty. What we will do is we will basically pull the project from GitHub. Monica was so nice to share with us uh, her 2048 game that she developed. You can also see in this page over here, you can even play it. But what we will do is basically we will copy the URL you see right here, and then we will paste it and we will clone it into our project. So I go ahead and I copy this. And what I do is sudo git clone and the project. And as you can see right now, it's cloning. And in HTML, we have 2048. But still, this is quite not so useful for us. What we need to do is we need to do a few configurations because this project was designed in a way to run in GitHub. Firstly, we will make it well fit for EC2. We will do a few changes in the code. We will install dependencies and then we will move the build version of the project back into this HTML folder. And once we do that, the game will be running in our EC2 instance. So let's go to 2048 folder 
And if you follow with me, there is package.json file. Package.json is basically list of dependencies about the project, like what is the homepage, who is the creator, what kind of license, and so on and so forth. What I do is I will make sudo nano to edit the package.json file. And once I edit, you will see the homepage is still Monica's web page. But instead of Monica's web page, we will declare the public IP we have on the left bottom folder. So I copied it and here I go, I delete it and I also make sure that it's HTTP and I paste the um, public IP address and I press Control X, I see at the lowest part, say modified buffer, yes, file to write package JSON, that's it. So that's the first step already done. The second step is also quite easy, basically installing all dependencies for Node.js. Uh, you may receive some warnings or some issues here, but there's no problem. As soon as there are no errors, it's also good to go. It may take a minute or two, and once it's ready, we will also proceed further. Okay, I grabbed myself some glass of water, and as the time I'm back and enjoying the first sip, I noticed that it's actually all the dependencies are installed. And the next one right now is we will create a static version of it, the build version of the project. And to do it also is quite easy. sudo npm run build is the command that you need to go for, right? It will also take another minute or two. And once it's ready, you will see the build version, the static version of the project will be right there. So here we go. It lasted even shorter than I planned. But as we can see right there in the screen, we have the build folder. So what we need to do now is to take this build folder and move it to the engines root folder. So first thing first, we are going to build folder by cd build. And here we are in build, let's make it clear. And here we have all the static files. And normally it might be a little challenge if you don't know much about Linux, how to move these things. But I will give you the shortcut here. And all you need to type is sudo mv star two dots slash two dots. Once you do that, build folder is right now empty. And if you go back all the way to HTML, right? And if you check, you will see now all the static files are moved to HTML. And to keep it clean, you can also remove already 2048 folder because we don't need it anymore, right? And right now it's all our static files in our project. And I believe that a little restart is quite useful for engines as well. So let's go also with this one, sudo system CTL, restart, engines. This will be quite useful. And once we do that, if you go to your public IP address and if you refresh, there you go. You have your first game that you pulled out of GitHub, thanks to Monica. And you have the game right here, 2048 game, and you can enjoy it, you can play it. This can be part of your portfolio as one of your first deployment on EC2. I'm not the best player with this game. There are plenty of tricks on how to make it 2048 in the end, in the end. but it's not really my cup of tea, although I really enjoy serving our first game on EC2 instance. So feel free to share it with your friends. This is quite a good start. As the next video, at some point, I will also try to improve this by providing a static IP address, maybe to give it a domain and so on and so forth. But right now, I think we are on a good track. Thank you.